Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. This message is for all of my Aries. All of my Aries, I'm going to go ahead and ground for all of my Aries. <coughs> Holy Father, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Okay, okay, let's see what's going on. So this is going to be an Aries love reading. Let's see what's going on with your love. Let's see if we have anything new or any reconciliations or what's going on here. For all of my Aries. Okay, free yourself. It's definitely time to free yourself from something. It's time to take back control. Okay. So you've been up in your head and it's time for you to go ahead and release everything that no longer serves you and go ahead and let go of that and come forth with that new new and being self-secure and showing yourself that love and respect that you know you deserve. You may have some unrequited love. Um, somebody's reaching out to you that you really don't care about. Um, there's not enough attraction here or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Okay. I see you definitely illuminating right now so there's definitely somebody that you're really not feeling like that that's in the atmosphere but they may be you might be trying to free yourself from them okay and there's some control issues that you definitely need to let go of um, and allow the situation to go ahead and unfold unnat naturally okay and then after you free yourself you could definitely be meeting um a new romantic partner right some, my nose keeps on itching, y'all. So some somebody is definitely um, talking about you right now. I'm a southern girl, so. If your eye twitch, something good gonna happen. And this may be a very flirtatious... It, it may be somebody that's very flirtatious with you, right? But you may just not be feeling them like that. But after you let go of this situation that you really don't... That you're up in your head about, I do see somebody um, maybe from your past... Or somebody new coming in that is going to definitely fulfill what you want and need, right? Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. Let's put some tarot on it for all of my Aries. What was that that flipped over? A whole bunch of cards flipped over and I'll take them off. So we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords and then we have Strength, the Moon, King of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So we definitely have a couple here, right? We have the, the Queen and King of Cups. So you could definitely be meeting your counterpart in the future. Um, and y'all are going to be very balanced. I, it's going to be a new romantic situation um, that you are going to get victory from, right? But there is some fear and illusion here. So you definitely need to get out of your head with that. But you do also have the strength. And that's what it takes to subdue those inner demons. And then we have the Queen of Swords. This person that comes towards you, they may have gone through some stuff in the past. But you definitely need to be paying attention to detail and know that they're very independent and you need to step into yours. And I feel like you're stepping into yours as well, right? What's going on for the Aries? Please and thank you, Holy Father, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Yeah, there has been a lot of conflict with you. I do see that you've had a, a rough time, a hard past, a rough life. Um, you've had a lot of... Um, backstabbing in your life and you just need to surrender um you feel like you have hit the rock bottom previously or currently take it how it resonates and you definitely need to go ahead and and um let that go because after you let that go it's definitely going to be fast movement and you're going to get that progress that you've been waiting for right whenever we're waiting on something and we are feel stuck and we feel like we're not going anywhere it's a lot of times because we need temperance balance we need that balance and we need that moderation um to go ahead and know what is our greater good and go ahead and do not what makes somebody else happy, but what makes us truly happy and living in our true north node. And that's what you're worrying about monetary, but that's money. Whenever you're really living in your truth, that's whenever the money comes, right? And you'll get that control, discipline, and you'll be very secure with yourself and with others, right? Then we have the Ace of Wands, and that kind of wanted to flip sideways. So it's like you're in between confusion and um, mental clarity, right? So you're not quite sure yet. You're in between. You're trying to balance that out, and you're kind of confused about a situation, and you're trying to get that mental clarity. What else for the Aries? Okay. 
And then we have the King of Swords. Um, I do see you becoming very professional. Um, um, you know, whatever you've been working hard on or whatever those plans or goals that you have or um, you want to reach, I see you reaching and obtaining those goals once you put that consistent effort and work in. And you have to actually put your groundwork in and plan for it, right? Because all these ideas up in your head and you're not actually taking those first baby steps as far as it's just writing them down and looking at them every day in a visible place or something like that, you know, consistent effort, confirmation. Thank you, spirit, guys. So, you know, it's going to come from that consistent effort. And that's the only way that material wealth that you're, that you're looking for is going to come. You need to definitely beware of deceitful people in the midst, um, try, people trying to um, be very cunning towards you because you're very vibrant, um, you're very determined, you're very ambitious, and sometimes you just look out for all the wrong places and sometimes, like, you don't take this the wrong way, Aries, but sometimes um, you're a little hard on yourself and, and, and you need to just, like, let go of it, okay? Because there's going to be some practical solutions. We have the, pre the Three of Pentacles. There's definitely going to be some practical solutions with this. And you're going to show that you have the ability to deliver. Any of those naysayers, any of those people that that thought you could not do this, you're going to show them right. Because you, this talent that you have, um, this these um, ideas that you have that you're planning, you're going to do the groundwork for them. And it's going to go ahead and that practice is going to turn into a profession, right? You're going to be the best at what you do once you work hard and put that work in, right? Because it's going to take to put that work in. Look who the fuck you are. Because you're the motherfucking empress. Emperor, take it how it resonates. Res if I can talk, take it how it resonates. Yeah, you're going to have that abundance. You're going to be very productive. You're going to nurture those things that you need to nurture and take care of. Um, and you're going to reap those rewards. Because whenever you've been discontent, you've been four cups, you've been discontent in the situation. And you know what no longer serves you. And you know that you have to go ahead and put, uh, for, to all that petty conflict, to all of those things that no longer serve you, all that fighting, all of those um, different priorities, all of that um, being annoyed and, you know, living and not living in the moment and, you know, all of that shit that no longer serves you, all of that heartbreak, all of that, all of that strife, all of those arguments, five of swords, all of that, those walls that were put up, all of those illusions that were made. All of that shit has gotten to end because the tower has come and it's time to put that shit in rest. And it's time to reveal the truth to yourself as, as well as time for everybody that's wearing those false masks for those to come off and show you who the fuck they are for real, right? Because you do want this, this new situation for yourself, right? You want this new situation and, and you know that you're going to be receiving this good news and you realize who the fuck you are and anybody that's in your company should be happy to be in it and it should be a celebration and that's period right that's period all right aries well i'm proud of you continue to work hard and be consistent and all that consistency is definitely going to pay off for you because you're going to reap those rewards that you're and you're going to go ahead and water those plants that you're you definitely laid those seeds down and all those crops that you've been working on is definitely going to grow right it just takes time it takes effort it takes consistency right Okay, Aries, don't forget to get your energy in. As always, peace, love, and namaste.